how to install Visual Studio Code for Mac Universal, Intel Chip and Apple Silicon? Visual Studio Code is a pretty successful editor and integrated IDE for developing some code and is supported a huge variety of uh, computer programming languages. I'm going to show you three different ways to install on Mac, Manual, Homeview and Ansible. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's start out with the most familiar one, the manual way. We are going to manually download and install from the official website code.visualstudio.com. The pro are that it is easy for new users, but the cons is that it, it is a time-consuming activity, especially for upgrade, and is pretty boring. First step is open your favorite browser and probably jump in a search engine and search for Visual Studio Code. This lands you in uh, the official website that is code.visualstudio.com. Oh, let's accept, accept the cookie. And this website also highlights the best feature of Visual Studio Code. Let me quickly remind that Visual Studio Code is also the official Ansible editor. I really like that there are a lot of interesting things. Uh, the main four pillars are IntelliSense, Debug and Debug and run built-in gate and extension. This enables you to work with your team as well also to write code with confidence and with code completion that is one of the best in the market. It supports a wide variety of operating system. Now I'm focusing more on the Apple Universal format that support uh, uh, Intel chip as well as uh, the newest Apple Silicon, so M1, M1 Pro, M1 Max, uh, and M2, and so on and so forth. So you probably are familiar watching this progress bar that is downloading the software to your system. The time might vary, depends by the speed of your connection. In the end, you got uh, nearly half a gigabyte of archive, 400 megabyte in your download directory. After decompressing, uh, Safari is decompressing automatically this application, so I needed to drag and drop manually with the mouse on the application folder. This is pretty boring, watching a progress bar and need to drag and drop we would like to automate these steps. So the view doesn't change, you probably are more familiar with a more icon view, but in the end of the day, the application is successfully installed. And, but this is pretty uh, time consuming, uh, uh, is a time consuming uh, uh, pro process. We would like to automate and also imagine if there are some junior or new buys, you would like to make bulletproof this, this progress. So let me show you that this is the latest Visual Studio installation 1.71.2 and everything is sorted out. But there is also a problem, how to upgrade? Well, you need to enable auto upgrade in code or manually download again from the website. The second way to install Visual Studio Code on Mac Universal is using Homebrew. Homebrew is very popular package manager for macOS and you can easily install it. You jump into brew.sh. You just need to copy and paste one command to your terminal and that's it. You have uh, a command line interface uh, managing by the brew command uh, to interact with a pretty huge uh, package uh, repository. So you can easily search and install for the Visual Dash Studio Dash Code package. The pro is that it is a fast install and upgrade. The cons is that uh, you require terminal skill, but you already have, haven't you? Let me introduce the Homeview website that you 
can reach it out on brew.sh. So there is a search engine built in where you can search it out for Visual Studio Code. And this is very straightforward. The package is called visual-studio-code and there is a pretty convenient install command. So quickly jump to your terminal or find it out in your application and copy and paste this command and everything will be done uh, underneath without uh, any user intervention. The adventure is that uh, this software is going to be installed in the application directory and with a brew command you can maintain up to date without any effort. For example, there is a one software that is not up to date and I could easily upgrade typing brew space upgrade. As you can see, brew is downloading uh, the latest release that is 171.2 that is exactly the one that uh, we downloaded manually and also is taking care of the ARM64 that is uh, the one for Apple Silicon so it detected the type of hardware that I have and automatically set it up the right one so now let me browse my application directory there is a Visual Studio code here and also the icon in uh, the application folder. Let me accept this new software and as you can see is perfectly working and also the about page confirm that is the latest release. So basically no effort, only we need to open a terminal and type a command. So it's quite straightforward also for new users that are not familiar with terminal, it's pretty easy once you have Homebrew installed on your system, but it's super easy to install just one command. Now let me show you how to upgrade the software. Well, just type brew upgrade and as you can see for FFmpeg that is not up to date, I just need to wait for a moment and brew is downloading and installing on my system. Done! So basically that's it. In the same way you could update your Visual Studio Code. Just type one command and wait. So everything is sorted out. So also you remove the previous version once everything is done. So wonderful job Homebrew! The third way to install Visual Studio Code for Mac Universal is using Ansible. Basically he use uh, Homebrew underneath, but he moved to a next level. So you can easily deploy, deploy one Ansible playbook to install the Visual Studio Code package via Homebrew. Uh, it requires that your target system already have Homebrew, but this enables you also to interact with uh, some remote system and you can perform the installation and the update. Uh, at the same time, so imagine you have a thousand of machine, you just need one playbook and you can simplify your workflow. The pro is that it is a fast install to upgrade and the cons is that you require terminal skill, but it unlock a world of possibility. So let's move on to my editor. Welcome to my editor, I'm going to type some Ansible code that technically is called Ansible playbook. And this is a YAML document, so let's begin with three dash and one name for my Ansible play. A play is like a, a set of instructions to build something. So let's name it accordingly, install Visual Studio Code Mac Universal that is going to be executed on hosts all of my inventory. Now let's begin the step-by-step -step task to be executed. So. I would like to install visual-studio-code and I'm going to use the underneath Ansible module community.general.homebrew because this triggers the homebrew to execute my code. There are some parameters. The first important one is the name of the package, so visual-studio-code. And the state is the most important one that specify if we would like to install or remove. We would like state present, so install the package. And let me specify also that I would like to update Homebrew 
underneath. Well, another convenient way is to change state from present to latest if you would like to keep up to date with software. So done! That's it what we would like to achieve. Install and update up to keep up to date. Well, everything seems sorted out. Well, also we need one additional file that is called inventory that basically is the list of the target machine where we would like to execute the code. In my case, I would like to execute the code locally. So I'm going to type localhost and I need also special parameter Ansible connection local. You can specify IP address on host name if you would like here. Now let's execute this Ansible code. Well, you need the Ansible installed on your system and these are the files that we created together. This is for example the inventory one. The execution will be performed by ansible-playbook command. Let me specify dash e parameter for inventory and my Ansible playbook code. As you can see, the execution is getting is proceeding on some steps. We got a failed here, but this is a bug now, uh, right now, because uh, actually the package was successfully installed. Let me show you uh, running again the same co the same Ansible playbook because uh, it show you that uh, Visual Studio Code is already installed on the machine. You can reinstall, but this is not what we need. So let me jump quickly again to the application folder and we can see that Visual Studio Code is actually installed on this machine. Let me accept because this is a new software and I trust it. I trust Ansible, I trust Homebrew underneath and this is still the latest version 1.71.2 so everything seems ready to go. You can complete this uh, getting started tutorial with there are some uh, interesting things, for example, split editor, how to configure, and you can end it up in a pretty weird scenarios. When this is sh this is like initial uh, configuration, so mark it down, and now you are ready to execute your wonderful code. I really love Visual Studio Code, but I love more Ansible to automate my day-to-day -day job. So I need so I could focus on what really matter to me. Now you know three ways to install and maintain up-to-date Visual Studio Code for Mac Universal, Intel Chip and Apple Silicon, Manual, Homebrew and Ansible. Guess what is my favorite one? Well, of course, the Ansible way. So thank you for watching and I hope this video was useful for you, so let's automate more about our workflow, save time and relax more. So have a good day, cheers!